Khan, I got the scripture right here. This is um first Peter five. And I'm gonna start at um I'm gonna go to the point of five. It says, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yeah, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for the most high resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of the most high, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Okay? But the point was in five, it says, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourself selves unto the elder right and even when you go to Sirach, it tells you if you find a man with understanding right where did where his doorstep where the where his doorstep out you know basically meaning that hey get understanding from that man be around that man okay get understanding from that man but then but do it for the right reasons though okay do it because you really want to grow and you really want to learn don't do it to please men <laughs> you know what i mean you know, because then you would you wouldn't be, you know, you wouldn't be doing it in a sincere manner, so to speak. Okay, you got to be sincere about these things, man. Okay. Um, let me grab this really quick, and then we'll go down. This is uh Joel three and seven. It says, "Behold." I will raise them out of the place where you have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will set your yeah, the, the because the heathen scriptures tell you, right? The heathen will also drink of that cup. OK, we drunk of it, but it wasn't the cup wasn't meant for us to drink of it. But we didn't follow the law, such as the commandments. So guess what? The curses came in effect. And with the curses came with the curses coming in effect, what happened? We were led astray. OK. We lost our heritage. Okay, we were, I mean, we were beat down, man. I mean, if you read the prayer of Azariah, right, and you read on down, it, it goes and shows you and it tells you, man, why we didn't, you know, why we didn't um, prosper, so to speak. Okay, but in the last days, right, which we are in that time, right, guess what? The true biblical Israelites are being raised up. Okay, in the face of all our enemies in the land of our captivity, and contrary, to, we, and, and and it's contrary because people want people. I mean, this is the biggest news out there, and people really don't want this to be true. Okay, but it is true, and the reason why these heathens don't want it to be true because if this is true, then what about all the the repaying you have to do? <laughs> you know, yeah, you don't think they think about that? Okay, they, the elites of these heathen do. They know these scriptures, man. They know that they're going to have to repay. Like, damn, you know, they did all this. They did all that. They were set up to do all this and do all that. And they did put their hands on us, man. Okay. In the worst way. And they did do evil, you know, towards us. Okay. So if you do evil towards the, the most highest, you know, people, what do you think is going to happen to you? Okay. And you don't think they know that? See, now the everyday so-called heathen, or not so-called, but the everyday heathen, so-called white men, so-called, you know, uh, 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 Chinese man, so-called Indian man, dot, so-called, uh, you know, uh, 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 Arabian man, all of them, right? All the heathen, all the way down, all right? The everyday heathen don't really know, right? But when you go to Wisdom of Solomon, second chapter, it tells you the mind of these heathen, man. These top elite families, right? These top elite people, it tells you about it. It tells you how, how their mindset. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna keep going. It says, um, Joel three, um, and eight. It says, I will sell your sons and your daughters into, into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the saw beans to a people far off for the Lord Yahweh has spoken it. I'm gonna go down. I'm going to go down. It says, uh, So shall ye know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, your power, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her anymore. Okay? And indeed, if you look right now, because when you go to uh, the book of Zechariah, if I'm not mistaken, it tells you that a bastard, you know, dwells in a land, man. Okay? A bastard. So the... The land is not given to, or it's not being occupied by the rightful owners. 
but it's not given to these Amalekites. It's not given to the small hats. It's really for Israel. It's really for, for the so-called black man, Native American man, the Mexican man, man. Okay, but what? We were scattered across the four corners of the earth because we went into captivity. Okay? Let me go down to 19. It says, Egypt should be a desolation, right? And what Egypt is this talking about? This is not talking about ancient Egypt. This is talking about this modern-day Egypt. Okay? It says, Edom shall be a desolation. How is it going to be desolate? By thermonuclear missiles. Okay? Malachi 4 and 1, 2nd Ezra is the 16th chapter. I mean, you could read on and read on, man. Yeah, Isaiah 14, right? You could read on and read on, and it goes and it tells you, man, right, how this place is going to be destroyed. And why would you want this place not to be destroyed? All the wickedness, you know? I mean, the market is, yeah, I mean, just look at it. Look at the decline of America. Look at the decline of the minds of these people. You got me, water is running out. Like, come on, man. These people don't know how to rule, so a new rulership has to be established. Okay, it says Egypt should be a desolation, and Edom shall be a, be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood, blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem for gener from generation to generation. Now, when you go to um, Obadiah, it tells you that what? Edom, Esau, right? There, there will be, it will be no more remaining of the house of Esau, okay? But when it says Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness, right? This that's not talking about ancient Edom. That's talking about this modern day Edom, right? Which or this modern day Basra, because Basra is a, a city in Edom, right? But this modern day Basra is what? America. Okay. It says Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. Okay? Again, man. You know, so Again, it goes to show you what we're saying is on point. So you gotta, you gotta really, you know, think back and sit. You know, well, why does the scriptures talk so bad about this nation of Esau? Why does it say there should be no more on the man of, of Esau? Then when you understand why, then you say, well, who, who is these people today? Because people didn't uh, go extinct. Okay, they call themselves by different names, but your modern day Edomite is a so-called white man. Okay, he calls himself self white, but he's far, he's furthest from it. Okay, look how he does. I mean, he don't fear the Lord, he don't do anything. Okay, but wickedness. Okay, it says, But Judah shall dwell forever in Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that ha that I have not cleansed, for the Lord Yahweh dwelleth in Zion. Okay, so this goes to show you, man, we're getting ready to go back to our land, man. We're getting ready to be set up as rulers, we're getting ready to put these heathen nations in, in subjection, man. This is just a this is a trial period right now, man. Okay, it's a trial period, and 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 this is a serious trial period because yet we have liberty not to do wickedness, but liberty to get ourselves right as best we can. You know, so when Yahweh Shai show up, we're not ashamed, man. Okay, we're not ashamed. You know, get the oil for your lamp now, man. Okay. So with that, man, Lord, when the videos edifying, Lord, when you brothers got something from this video, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakadash, I want to tell you brothers, keep pushing. On to the next, Shalom.